book 10 plus sales calls per month while growing your socials with the follow conversion system. In this video, I'm going to go into exactly what I teach my clients to do that books them 10 plus sales calls each month while also growing their personal brands on Instagram. So let's get straight into it. First of all, this training is specifically designed for online coaches who struggle to put out content on a consistent basis and who don't know how to create content that actually leads to sales and cash. So if you're not an online coach and you're not struggling with that, I recommend not wasting your time and clicking off this video. But if that does describe you, then you want to be properly engaged because you're going to get some value from this video. So who am I? My name is Luke Histon. I've been in the content marketing space for quite a while now. Eventually, uh, I ended up starting off with an agency and eventually turned that into more of a coaching consulting business for online coaches who are not booking enough appointments each month and who are not getting the engagement, the authority, anything that that they want. I basically come in, I help them with their systems, their processes, and I make it so they can scale efficiently, going from 10 to 30K per month. So let's get straight into it. How am I helping coaches personal brands, making them an authority in their niche, while also, how am I building coaches personal brands, sorry, making them an authority in their niche, while also booking them 10 plus qualified sales calls each month? The answer is content. In this training, you are going to get an in-depth look at how I transform online coaches, personal brands and businesses using content and strategic funnels, otherwise known as the follow conversion system. So where do we start? Before you even create a piece of content, there are a couple of things that you need to nail down in the strategy beforehand. So here's a couple of questions that you can ask yourself to set you up for success. Who do you help? Who do you help? Your target customer? What are their key struggles and pain points? Get really clear on this. What is your own story? Uh, how did you go from where you were to where you are now? One huge part about content is building trust. And one of the best ways to do that with the viewer for them to build trust with you is to tell your story, your struggles, how you overcame those struggles. And they will trust you a, a, a whole lot. So what are your goals with content? What subjects can you talk about for hours on end without getting bored? Who are the competitors in your niche and how do they structure their content? Is there anybody you follow religiously and love what they do online? Once you get a clear idea of your vision, your goals, your backstory, we can move on to the next step, which would be profile optimization. And all this is happening on Instagram. It's just the most efficient way to do it. So you want to keep this simple. Keep it all simple. Simple scales, complex fails. So your profile photo, clear and professional. Does it show that you are a top performer in your niche? So my profile photo is something similar to this. Plain, bright, br br bright, bl bl how do you say it? Background. Plain, bright, background, um, looking clear, professional, showing that you are a top performer. Your name, don't overcomplicate it, but it's always nice to throw keywords in your name start uh, stating what you do. For example, Alan, sales coach. Then your bio, this is uh, more specific and I would highly recommend putting this in. In your bio, you wanna put what you do and who you help. I help X do X. I help busy moms lose 10 pounds. I help agencies um, book 10 appointments per month, whatever it is. Throw that in your bio so people know what you do and who, you're, and who you help. Then in your bio, at the bottom of your bio, add a call to action. So this could be click below to learn about coaching. This could be click below to get started, apply for coaching below, whatever it is, 
And then underneath this call to action, you can add a link, whether it's uh, to for them to DM you, to book a call with you, to access a free asset, a free training, anything in there w will help. I recommend a free training to nurture them more, especially if it's in video format. Then after you've optimized your profile, the next step would be content. The main thing we're going to focus on. So with content, the first thing I want to say is that the edit is not everything. If you have a great video, then good editing will accentuate it. But if you have a crappy video with good edits, then the video will still do crappy. So. How do you actually create a good video? A standalone video that on its own without any edits will still do pretty good. First, you need to be creating valuable content. Value comes in three forms, motivation, education, and entertainment. Two of those, how I like to think about them is that the education is the how how to lose 10 pounds of body fat, how to gain muscle. Then the motivation would be the why. Why are they doing it? Why did they start? So how to education, how to build muscle. Motivation, they want to look good at the beach, whatever it is. And you got to constantly remind them, burning that fire under them of why, why they're following you, why they want to do it. And this will make them more likely to eventually DM you, convert, sign up to your program. So the next thing, after you're ready to create content, you know that you should be sharing value. How do you come up with video ideas? So number one, turn frequently asked questions. If you already have a couple of clients, turn frequently asked questions into videos. This is an extremely great, great way of doing video ideas because they are already your target customer. So any questions they have, it's likely that a lot more people, a lot more of your target customers are going to resonate and have the same questions. So turn those into videos and um, you will be answering a whole lot of people. The second way that you can find video ideas and find trending video ideas that are trending right now is by going to TikTok, searching your niche, then filter by most liked, and then this last week slash month. I usually do month. So once you do this, it will show you all the trending videos in your niche from the last month. Now you can go through here, pick out video ideas, take inspiration for hooks, but I never recommend stealing somebody's idea or stealing somebody's video completely. What you should be doing there is taking that idea and creating your own, your own inspiration, your own ideas and making it 10 times better than their video. And then the third thing is anytime you have a video idea that pops into your head, write it down in a notebook or on the notes app on your phone. We may not use that idea now, but we definitely will we definitely will use it in the future. So you need a place to store all those video ideas so you never forget. Then you have your video idea ready to go. Your profile is optimized. What's next? The video structure. How do you actually structure a video for success? So the most basic format of a video structure would be the hook the body or explanation, and then the call to action. So the hook would be the first couple of seconds of your video to get people initially engaged. We live in a, in a society where if you can't get somebody engaged in those first couple of seconds with that scrolling platform, they will scroll right off your video. So I don't want to hear any, hi, my name is Bob, and this is what I do. You need to get straight into the meat of the video. The next thing would be the body and explanation. This is where you're giving the tips, you're giving the value. And um, then the third thing is the call to action. 
leading them to do a certain thing, whether it's follow you. Um, as you will see in a minute, I don't like when people say book a call or click the link in my bio or anything like this. And I will explain why in a minute, but follow, comment, save, all great call to actions. And you need that in there because people do need to be reminded of what to do. If they're not, then they may say, oh, that's a pretty cool video and scroll right by. But reminding them gives them a better chance of following or doing what you want to, them to do. So the hook is arguably the most important part of your video. Like I said, with the, with the attention spans nowadays, they're not great. So you need to get people engaged straight away. So how do you create an amazing hook? Hooks have a, a, a couple of important variables that make them successful. So number one, specific target viewer. Who are you calling out? And from the questions I asked earlier in the strategy section, you should know that. Number two, the dream result or the problems faced by your target viewer. Where do they want to go? What's their dreams? What's their aspirations? Or where are they stuck? What are they struggling with? If you can find these out, it'll be amazing. And then three, the solution to achieve the dream result. Letting them know that you do have the solution for that problem or you, you can take them from A to B. Then there's a couple of other variables that um, you can use in your hook. So target audience, pain point, uh, subtraction. Uh, you telling them that this is how you take away a pain point. Uh, calling out their pain point. Uh, are you a busy mom struggling to lose weight? And then the busy mom would say, yes, that, yes, I am struggling to lose weight. And they'd be more engaged in the video. Or time frame. These are all things that you can compile together. Are you a struggling mom, target audience, uh, view, at viewer and dream state, looking to lose 10 pounds and then time frame in the next six weeks? I don't know if that's accurate, but you can add these together and make your own hooks out of them. So video structure, this could be, I'm gonna give you three tips, letting them know it's a three point video. Uh, dream end state, like I said, um, uh, viewer before state. So then that's how you create an amazing hook is by adding those things up together and, and basically just targeting your, your target viewer. Then the body or explanation of the video. There's another couple of important things that we need to know here while creating content. So don't give away the punchline at the start of your video. Why is this? Social media platforms favor watch time. They want people to watch your video for the longest duration possible. And if they do, then they're going to push it out to way more people. If people, if the social media platform notices that people are scrolling right off your video, then it's going to get pushed to less people. So don't give away the punchline of your video at the very start. So. Do not tell them the solution right away. Maybe give a small explanation before, before the solution. Maybe go deeper into their pain point, telling them how they feel. But save the punchline and the solution to nearer towards the end of your video to rack up that watch time because they will continue to watch the video to get to the punchline. Then, a storytelling format, something I've been loving recently. Storytelling is way more engaging than, than five tips and tricks. If you can tell somebody a story about how you went from A to B, they're going to listen to that way, way more engaged than, whether, than if you're telling them five tips to go from A to B. So share stories from your own life and from your, your clients. Share their transformations, how they feel. Uh, stories just from your industry. Then, tell people how you've done it 
that's a little typo there. Tell people how you've done it instead of telling them what to do. I just men mentioned this there, but if you tell people how you've done it, they they can't say that anything's wrong. If you tell people to do something, they can say, no, no, that's, a, that's terrible advice. So if you told somebody, oh, this is how I lost 10 pounds of body weight, and you told them how you've done it, they can't say anything. That's actually how you've done it. But if you're telling somebody, this is how you will lose 10 pounds of body fat, they might be like, oh, what? No, my body doesn't work that way. And that, that's kind of how it works there. But tell people how you do it. Tell people what you do for your clients. Don't make it salesy, but just make it info informational. Then give actionable steps that the viewer can implement today. This will make them way more likely to, to actually follow you, um, take action on your call to action. Give them steps that they can implement right now today. Then for your call to action, here we go. People will not buy from you after seeing one video. They will also not book a call after one video, no matter how good it is. Tell them to go through your past content or follow to nurture them. They need more trust built up rather than just one video. Nobody's going to buy from you after seeing one video of yours. So tell them to go through your past content or follow you. And uh, this will lead down into our next couple of steps of the strategy then. So extra is going forward with your content. Client results and testimonials. You need a bunch of these. Show people that you've helped people like them in the past. This will build even more trust with them. Make them more excited for where they could go if they joined you. Then I want a 50-50 uh, between content of you and content helping the viewer. So this would be content telling people how you done it and content telling them whatever the five tips and tricks to do it. 50-50. Don't give away the punchline at the start. We went over that. And then daily consistent content. The more you post, the more followers you will, you will get. The more people that will be engaging with you, the more people that will, um, will be messaging you to work with you. So daily consistent content. One to three posts every single day. And then the last thing, have fun with it, you know? People, a lot of people take it too serious. And um, I feel like when they do take it too serious, they eventually get burned out from, from doing it. So have fun with it. Don't take it too serious. And, and just know in the back of your mind that it gets much easier over time. Yeah, it really does get much easier over time once you know the strategies, you know how to structure it, you have it as a habit, you know how to schedule it, and you know how to save time with content, everything like that. So now, you're creating amazing content, but how are you actually going to convert viewers? This is what we're going to go into right now. Now, once you, know how, once you know how to create a great video, you know what works and are doing it consistently, you'll start to get followers. And since you've been calling out your target client in your hooks and have been giving specific advice that will help them, um, then, that will be, then they will be the people that are following you, your target viewer. You're giving actionable advice that suits them and their goals and you're also calling them out in your hooks. So they will be the people following you, your target customer. Anytime somebody does follow you, uh, thank them for their, their support. Hey name, thanks so much for the support. Something simple, you're not, you're not trying to sell them or anything. Then, this will open up the room for conversation. Since they followed you, they know you're an authority. They know you give good advice and they know you can be trusted. That's the reason why they followed you. You give good advice and you speak to them. They're starting to build that trust. Maybe not fully there yet, but it's building. Then this is where the trust fully gets built. 
they will binge all their content on your page and build even more trust with you on autopilot just from you posting content and you want the testimonials previous client results in there everything like that since they're the ones who followed you you are no longer a stranger and they will be more open to conversation with you it's much easier to um have a conversation with somebody who you follow you watch you feel you feel like you kind of know them rather if it's just a stranger DMing you, you're kind of like, oh, no. Then, in the DMs, you can then qualify them. Ask them questions about what they do, where they are in their journey, where they want to go. And if you feel like you can help them, then book them on a sales call. Show them what you have to offer while diagnosing their problems and showing them that you have the solution. And then eventually they will sign up if your sales is on point. Then for this, rinse and repeat. Content, content, content. I sound like Gary Vee, but it's true. So there's a lot more to this system, but that is essentially the main parts. But there's a lot more specifics like DM scripts for when people follow you like running ads behind certain posts to boost it to more of your target followers. There's a lot more that goes into it. And I do go over a lot of it on my Instagram, which is here, Luke Histon HD. So give me a follow on there. Give me a DM as well. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them over, over there. So that's essentially it. But what I do then in my coaching program is I do help clients with more nuanced things, video ideas, hooks, um, even down to editing. My, I have a team that does all the editing for them, um, helping them with ads, the DM scripts, like I said, optimizing their profile, their content, everything like that. So there is a bit more that goes into this strategy, but I'm sure if you went over to my Insta or through some of my content, you will definitely find what you're looking for otherwise shoot me a dm and uh, i'm happy to answer any questions there too so thank you so much for watching this video give me a follow on insta and let's have a conversation i'll see you in the next one